don't compare myself to Martin Luther King. The only thing we ever had in common was that we both have a dream. A dream where everyone and everything is equal to its own right and its own place. The same dream that our forefathers had before when they made this place. The same dream that we had in the team where we all seemed to be all right. The same dream where we, all the lesbians and gays and the transgenders wouldn't have to die to fight. Fight a war for peace. Isn't that ironic? It's ironic. But it's okay. Because any fight is worth the peace that we're warring for. That we're fighting for. Every time that we go and dying for. Everyone that we know and we're lying for. But is it worth it? Is it worth all the pain that we gain that we find in the way that we strain? Is it worth all the time that we spend in the times that we go in the rain? Is it worth all the death? Is it worth all the pain that we go through in Maine? Is it worth every death that we feel when we go in the stream? Is it worth every Christian, every single one of them in the other countries that isn't America, that goes down and hates all the people, hates on the women, hates on the children, hates on the gays, and hates on the transsexuals and bisexuals and all the others just like me? But is it worth it? I believe it's worth to have a war for peace, even though it's completely ironic and completely bionic and it's completely insane. But it's okay. It's okay to be insane when you're going through the strain of the way that you go in the rain. It's an acid rain that comes down from the Lord that you say does exist. It's a rain that comes down when it goes and it cries over this. He cries. He goes through all this pain that I feel when I look in the mirror, all this pain that I feel when you call me by the name I didn't choose. A name that you chose for me. It's like a number that you wrote on my skin, like I'm 11 from the way of the sin. It's not okay. It's not okay for you to burn me. And it's not okay for you to execute me from your churches, from your estates that you say that I'm accepted to. And it's not okay to be a complete hypocrite. A hypocrite who says that I can't get married and then gets married to a woman who isn't even from America. And then you go and you hate on people that aren't from America. This isn't just for Donald Trump. It's for every single person who feels like me, who feels degraded, who feels like they should be hated. It feels like they should die. You're not alone.